Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of A Truck Driver Plays American Truck Simulator. Guys, what's going on out there? How y'all doing today? Oh, I'm trying to get away from traffic right now because traffic's a little loud. But anyway, how y'all doing today? I hope y'all out there doing well. And all that, you know. So, today, right? So, the other night, I started playing. I wasn't recording, right? And I picked up a load of fireworks in Grand Junction. No, was it Grand Junction? Okay. Anyway, it was South. Da it was North Dakota, and I didn't have a chance to finish it before I started recording. So today we're gonna be finishing that run. It's going from South Dakota down to Topeka, Kansas. So we headed to Topeka right now, and we're going to pick up another load and take it wherever. So that's the plan for today. So you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and finish out the load here. Let me see here. Let me get inside the truck. Let's fire up. Uh, let me see. Let me get my mirrors back up here. Nope, that's the wrong one. That's not my mirrors. That is not it either. Let's get my GPS up there. Soon I'm going to fix it to where I don't have to have the mirrors and the GPS up here. Soon. Soon I'm going to fix it like it. I think it looks a lot better without all that up there. But anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and finish this run right here. Damn, I need some tires. Look like it. Oh, is he going to let me out? How nice of him. That little Hellcat back here let me out. I think it was a Hellcat. And I still got to get all the way over. Yeah, I started playing this and, and, and I couldn't finish it out. And I didn't have really, you know, didn't want to sit here and, and finish it and then, you know, start recording. So I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and record the rest of the trip and then we'll get a new trip. We'll do it all. You know. And to everybody that's been enjoying this series right here, because this seems to be the most popular series on my channel and i appreciate the support y'all thank y'all glad y'all enjoy it for real oh the wind is blowing right now right now the wind is blowing a little hard it scared me a little bit because i didn't expect it because the wind just came through And I need to fix my gear pattern too. I like to go from high and low. I like the high and low gear pattern, not the straight all the way through. But I guess it, it don't matter, but I just like the high and low better. Let's go ahead and hop on over. Now, the other day when I was playing, I did come through, uh, I came through Kansas a little bit, and uh, yeah, it was just a lot of back roads and stuff like that that I came through, so. Which, that's, yeah. And it, it was a lot of, like a lot of intersections, which, that's that's what Kansas is like, so. That's pretty much what, what Kansas is like when you run certain roads, you come across a lot of intersections and all that stuff point I'm trying to make is my foot ain't never been so tired because like I said I'm using the G27 uh, steering wheel gear shifter and, and braking pedals and clutch set that's another thing I'm gonna upgrade soon I'm gonna upgrade it to something a little bit newer I 
the only reason I chose the G27 is because the gear shifter has got like all the buttons, a lot of buttons on it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google the G G27, Logitech G27 steering wheel set. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's got like a lot of buttons on it. Because I don't have the uh, the button box, the ATS button box, which I'm I'm gonna get that too. Uh, heavy hauler, that's what it's called, the heavy hauler. So yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of upgrades here soon. You know, I want the actual gear shifter and the heavy hauler and all that. So. See, this is what I was saying about Kansas. There's a lot of intersections. A lot of stoplights coming through these back roads. And I do, I think I still got the traffic mod on. So the traffic mod wasn't one of the mods that was affecting me getting into Wyoming. So, all right, so we got an hour and 59 minutes left before we get to Topeka. Uh, with all these lights and intersections and traffic, more like two hours. Then we're going to have to go to sleep because my little bed down there is almost completely blue. If you look on the GPS right there, you see the little bed is completely blue. Almost. So, yeah, and I'm going to, uh, another thing I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to look, I'm going to look for some, some, you know, some different mods, some different skins, you know, trailer skins and stuff like that. I'm going to try to do one that I haven't done before. Oh, no, and it's raining. Normally it don't rain when I record. Pika, 93 miles. Yeah, and, and if you couldn't tell, I didn't get to get an episode out last week. Like I said, I try to pre-record everything, so whenever I play, I record. And that's just so I'm not rushing to do it because when you rush to do these videos, they don't come out good because you're rushing. You know, um, and I'm going to be honest with you, the last uh, Cities episode that I released, I was rushing to do it. So I'm not happy with it. I mean, it's up there. I'm not happy with that one. So for the Cities, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, I'm, I'm going to pre-record them because the city's episodes, they're easy to pre-record. So that way I'm not rushing. I'm probably going to make them a little longer. So if you haven't, man, make sure you go by and check out the Morgan, you know, which is my uh, City Skylines uh, EP. Where we build Morgan from the ground up. This right here, it raining, it kind of reminds me of that time. Like, okay, so it was about, this is when I was an over the road driver. I think I was driving for Swift. This is when I first started. It was about seven o'clock in the morning and I was coming through uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Seven o'clock in the morning and the sky was just, it was just dark. Like the sky was dark dark. It might've been about 7.30. No, it's 7.30, the sun's supposed to be up. And it was just dark, dark. So I'm riding through Kansas City. I'm just looking like, oh, no. I'm just 
like this this don't look right you know that's that's, that's kind of tornado alley i mean dark dark and i'm riding through the whole time i'm thinking but what do i do what do i do if i come across a tornado I'll tell you exactly what i would have did i dropped that truck on the side of the road and took off running That was the plan right there. I turned the radio on just to make sure there's no bad weather or nothing coming. Yeah, I was scared that morning. The whole time I'm riding, I'm looking for places to pull over so I can take off if I have to. Figured I'd stand, I'd stand a better chance running than I would in that slow truck. just hitting his brakes when he shouldn't be hitting them. Oh, we're almost here. We got like eight miles to go. Yeah, because the other night when I finished playing, I knew I was close to it, but I've been playing for a while and I was sleepy. It was just time to go to bed. And speaking of sleepy, you know, a couple episodes ago when I took the Freightliner FLC, when I drove that, I ain't never been so tired in my life after playing a video game. Like that truck. Oh, and I know this is a game, but but damn! After using that truck, that's why I haven't used it again. I ain't never been so tired in my life driving that thing. Headlight? I got my headlights on. I thought I did. Oh no, I don't. I thought my headlights were on. I knew it. Well, I mean, ain't nothing coming, is it? We might as well go on. I didn't got the ticket now for it. Going up here to Walmart, taking some fireworks up here. Oh, let's stop. There we go. Slow it down a little bit. I ain't even geared down. All right, so let's see where they want it. And the hardest dock they got, probably. How it always goes.
Head getting wet. Head getting wet. All right. Let's turn that off real quick. We need that Jake break on right now. Straighten up. They'll take it right there. All right, so let's cut everything off. Oh. Oh, good. oh, still didn't cut off. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and, and drop the load. Get everything settled, and we'll be right back. All right, everybody. So we are back. And so we picked up a load of home accessories. We're going to be picking up a load of home accessories and taking it up to Cheyenne, Wyoming. So right now we got to go get the load. We got to go to sleep. Then we hit the road. So let's go ahead and get on it so I can take me a nap. Got our light zone. Windshield wiper zone. Yeah, we need to turn up. Oh. There we go. See, we yawning. All right. Up, oh, scrape that one. Looks like we're picking it up from Best Buy.
and there it is. Let's go ahead and take that job. Get out the road so we can let the traffic behind us go through. Take all the space. Don't never be scared to take all the space that you can take. It's another rule of truck driving. Take all the space that you can take. Don't be scared to take it. Just take it. is getting on my nerves ain't nobody that sleepy there we go let's take it right there all this stuff on right now let's get loaded up all right cargo has been loaded so now we have to look at the map and see where we're gonna sleep I think there were some places in here to sleep let me see yeah, there's like one right up here, but it's kind of like going out the way. I have to go all the way up here to sleep and then come all the way back down and hop on 70. And I probably won't make it here. I might, though. How far is it? An hour and 48 minutes. Yeah, let me see here. Because I want to see if I have any. Oh, I got an hour 43 minutes. You know what? We can do that then. Let's just do that. That way we ain't backtracking. The Solana. Yeah, this is where I was headed uh, that morning. The story I was just telling you about. I was scared of the tornado. I was headed right here. Salina, Kansas, or I guess I'm saying that right. All right, so is that where? Oh, that's where the um, yeah, that's where we're gonna stop and sleep. Okay, right there. All right, so let's get going. Ooh. I want to turn my lights on. I ain't even got the flashes on. Wait a minute, what's? What? Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say, where's the entrance? 
I knew it was to this side somewhere. I can't even see if anything's coming that way. I'm just gonna assume that it ain't. I thought I could beat that car. <laughs> that's, why, that's, why that, that's why that turn looked a little funky. I thought I could beat that car, but he was rolling. Solana. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. Sol Solana? Solana? That's what somebody told me it was Solana. Solana. Oh. Make sure I was saying that right, because they could have been saying it wrong. Well, at least it stopped raining, so got some dry roads to work with. And my bed is completely red. It had said I had an hour and like 43 minutes. so many doubles I'm just seeing a lot of double tra trucks pulling double trailers <sighs> yes I know I'm getting sleepy I got eyes I can see that the exit is like right up here Somebody's tapping their brakes. Is that the exit I was supposed to take? No, it's not. I, I took the wrong exit. Let me see something. No, it's the next exit. Okay, all right. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Whoa, whoa. There we go. All right. Whoa, there comes something. Whoa, 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 whoa.
guess he couldn't. He had cars beside him. Alright, the next exit, this exit, this exit coming up should be it, should be the exit. Hit that sign back here. There we go. All right, we got a cab over right there, but sitting beside. Okay. All right. Well, that's uh. Oh, we can, let me turn the truck off. There we go. All right, let's climb into the back and go to sleep. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, so we just woke up. Yep. Yep, I ain't got no quilt or nothing. Get cold back here. All right, so let's make our way up to the driver's seat here. Let's go ahead and get going. There we go. All right. Go ahead and back out. All right, guys, so I'm gonna run in the store. I'm gonna use the bathroom, get me a cup of coffee. I'll be right back.
All right, guys. So we are back. We're ready to hit the road now. Damn, I should have got my tires fixed. Alright, there's nothing coming, so let's go ahead and go. So the other day, right, yesterday actually, I took my car to a tire shop. Because for one thing, when I got over, like when I got up to 70, 70 and over, it, was, it had like a vibration, the steering wheel did. So I took it. To the tire shop, I just wanted them to check it out. Make sure, you know, when the tie rod, you know, or anything like that. So I took it there, tie rod's fine, but come find out, I got two bent rims. Now I'm thinking, how in the hell did I be in two rims? And they trying to charge me $300 a piece for the rims. It's like 300. So I looked online, I found the same rims for $164 a piece. I was like, well shit, I'm just gonna do that. Shit, I can put the rim on myself. I don't need them to do it $300, $600 all together what they wanted to charge me. Then they said my rotors were warped, which I knew that. And my tires in the front are bad, which I kind of knew it was time time for new tires anyway. So the point is, they, they was trying to make a fortune off of me. And I told them, nah, I'll wait. So now, I probably will take it back and get the tires from them. Because I know if I was like like back home, I could just ride the Bassett, the Cunningham tire. You know, that's where I used to get all my tires back home. I'd ride all the way to Bassett Cunningham's. Because they had some pretty good cheap tires. I don't know where to go get tires like that around here, so... I have to bite the bullet and pay the $300 for the tires. Because I have an Impala, a LTZ Impala. And it's got uh, the alloy rims and the low profile tire. And as for the rims, you know, I can get them. But that was just crazy, like three hundred dollars. The rim ain't but a. I found the rim for a hundred and sixty-four dollars a piece. So I'm trying to figure out what are they charging me for? Are they charging that much in labor to change a tire out? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Hell, anyway, the, the rotors, I can do that, too. They're going to charge that much in labor. I can do the rotors, too. only thing I need them to do is a, an alignment when I change them. That's it. But I just thought that was crazy. $600? Hell, I can just buy the rim... $164 a piece which I probably can get them cheaper if I looked if I took another look then I can change that out myself see that's how they get you that's how they get you man but I know if I had took it to the dealership 
they would have charged me probably a whole lot more. Because the last time the Tyrod went bad, uh, I took it to the dealership. I think I paid $500 for them to change that out. I mean, I was getting the oil change too, but still, $500, good. I mean, damn. That's what I used to do. I used to just do all the work myself, you know. Especially back in the day. Like, I just do do all the work myself. Just that tie rods and stuff like that, I, I, I mean, I probably could do it. It just seems like a lot of work. You know, like, the last time I changed the brakes on my car, I did that myself. That wasn't nothing. Tires rotated, oil change. I did that myself. But usually, like with big jobs, I'd just rather pay somebody to do it. got about eight hours to go so we should make it there without having to go back to the one thing about that tire place they wasn't trying to sell me a bunch of stuff they just took the car test drove it and just told me everything I needed like I about two years ago uh, when I got new tires I took it to National Tire and Battery now I told them I just needed the tires that's it they trying to sell me everything else They're trying to sell me everything else. Yeah, so finally, when they bought the car back out to me, they're talking about they need a battery. That jump start. I'm thinking, well, the battery was fine before I bought it in here. That don't I uh, know if I come in for for a certain thing, let me buy the certain thing. If I need something else, I tell you. Don't try to see, I don't like that. I don't like going to places like that where they just steady trying to sell me stuff. Actually, it wasn't two years ago. It was last year. Cause I got two. I still got two new tires on the back, and then the ones that were on the back, we put them on the front. So now it's time to replace the ones on the front now. Okay, yeah, that's right. But yeah. Man. So I don't know what they did to my battery. It was working fine when I when I put when I pulled up in there. So I don't know. 
don't matter. I, I ended up going to uh, I ended up going to the store and getting my own battery, putting it in. And they was trying to charge me a million dollars to put a battery in. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Nah. We don't need no gas. We should be okay. We don't need no fuel. I just looked down and noticed the fuel sign. Gas station down there. No, we don't need no fuel. We're good. Just gonna keep it rolling. Look like I done ran into some traffic up here. Stuck over here in Hammer Lane. I had to speed up a little bit. I was trying to get past everybody since I couldn't get over. Pulling behind this Hellcat. They're out there spraying fields. Look at that. Oh.
Ah, oh, damn scale. Oh, and it let me go. Oh, oh, what we doing? Why are we stopping? All right, guys, so <laughs> um, yeah, a couple of things just happened. Um, I cut it out, but I got messed up. I got lost, but that's okay because now we are back on track now. So if you're watching this and it looks a little weird, looks like it's been like I skipped something or something like it, yeah. Uh, Yeah, because, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to say how I did it. Pretty much the, uh, my recorder turned off, I pulled off, and then I took the wrong road. So now we're just now getting back on track. So I thought I could turn right on red. But anyway, we are back on track. We're still headed up to Cheyenne. So let's get back on the highway finally. Yeah, that's uh, not even sure how I did that. But, you know, things happen. Took the wrong turn. Didn't get nowhere, so, yeah. But that's what happened. That's why, you know, we had gas just a minute ago, and now you see we bought out of gas, so. We are back on track. Head on up here to Wyoming. Look, I go to Denver. Oh, 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 oh. You ain't miss that exit being nosy. Head up toward Fort Collins. Oh, I'm running out of fuel. Okay. Okay, and there's no fuel station anywhere. There's no fuel station anywhere. That's just great. I know I should have got some fuel back here. Cause that ain't gonna last. That ain't gonna get us to where we going. That ain't gonna last for no hour and 55 minutes.
but we'll get as far as we can, so. We got a scale. Ah, and it didn't let me pass this time. Didn't even let me pass this time. Try to get up here before running out of gas, out of fuel. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Probably not, but we'll give it a good try. But that goes a bed symbol. That goes a uh, somewhere to sleep. I don't really need that right now. I need a uh, need fuel. I need a fuel station. scale that I gotta go down the rest area because we ain't gonna make it if we gotta go down in there is the scale on the highway I'm not even going no why is okay I'm not understanding that I'm in it no I'm not going way down there to go through a damn scale port of entry 
Not even going that way. I ain't got no fuel to do all that. I, I'm going, but let me speed up. Customer expects delivery. I'm right here at the place. It's fell in the start. I didn't even go past the way station. here. We actually made it on the little fuel that we got. Could have been here hours ago if I hadn't messed up, but that's all right. It happens. It happens. All right, let me see where they got me going. Oh, of course, they got it blocked off so I can't pull straight through. All right, so we got to hurry up. close to Ava Red as I could. We're going to have to hurry up. I think the truck is starting to turn off. Alright guys, so that's going to be it. That's going to be it. All in all, not a bad trip. Uh, except for, you know, when I got turned around and when things kind of fell apart a little bit. But we still made it here on time. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave me a like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching the video. And you guys have a great day.